Welcome, welcome, Ascended Stars. This is your water element reading. <laughs> uh, no, it's actually Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, water element. And this is going to look into uh, who is this potential partner that you're flirting with, entertaining, uh, sharing time, considering. And this is going to be, um, you know, these readings are turning out really interesting. I don't know how to, how to explain it, but, you know, doing it through the elements, it's, it's, uh, it's a different, like, energy as I do them. I haven't really done them like this in the past. And I want to find out who's going to treat Pisces right. Who's going to treat, you know, my the, the zodiac sign right. You're like my little children. All 12 children. And I want you all to succeed in love. Especially Pisces. You have so much love to give. And, um, you know, giving it to the wrong person is, is no more. No more. And it could be detrimental to the water element. Uh, we have a lot of earth element here, complementary to the water element. Neptune is direct. It's in the second decan at 18 degrees in the sign of Pisces, which is you. And um, it's getting it's getting very interesting, isn't it? So we're going to look at what the true intentions are. We're going to see who this person is in your life right now. Whether, you know, with this, with the uh, reveal of the intentions, it'll be up to you to move forward or not as regardless of this reading but um we do want to get clarity on perhaps what's hidden what you can't see okay and um there's a lot more light coming onto the world but with light there's a lot more shadow and pisces is about reflective energies so but it's also an illusion you know it's i always think of pisces as a, a reflection in a lake and you don't know how deep that lake is and you could throw something in there it could be shallow or you, it could be deep and um i just find that to be so piscean because well i don't want to get into it but you know it just seems to be the, the best uh interpretation for me when I think of Pisces all right so let's look into this let's see what's happening with my Pisces I am going to call uh, spiritual guides ancestors to help me out to give me the best messages to help me communicate the best messages to the best of my abilities thank you all right so the first card for Pisces is the chariot okay so look this is like really awesome for you because this means that you're hold you're, you're not holding on to feelings you're letting them go and you're managing them and you're looking straight forward into your future and you're you know you guys rule the past so you're not feeling sorry for yourself living in the past you've decided to move forward and gain control of your emotions and also what i feel is like this person is not going to rule you with um emotional uh what do you call it manipulation yeah, your, your heart and your home are really centered, okay? You might have a group of women or you're just around the feminine energy that is insulating you at this time. You might have a divine mother that's helping you or the divine mother could be assisting you uh, at this time because her presence on earth is very um, real. Nine of cups, a wish come true, okay? So you have you have two things that are just amazing here. You have stability on your on the emotional side. You have security, safety, and feminine energy supporting you, whether that is spiritual or in the physical. And you have a wish come true, something that you have desired, you have wanted is coming soon into your life, okay? Uh the lot, the stars could be lining up to set you up yeah 
That's the, the stars could be lining up to set you up in the best position possible. Cross watchers are welcome. Okay, I got um, some comments that, you know, this resonated for the cross watchers. So you can be any sign dating a Pisces. Okay, so you are, this is great. Again, more confirmation that you are um, letting the emotions settle. You're not being reactive or as reactive as you have been in the past. You're using your higher wisdom, okay, the 12th house of all your lifetimes, of all the things that you've learned on the earthly walk, and then when you go back to spirit form and you connect, even your ancestors are guiding you. They're illuminating the path for you, okay? At night, when you might feel some anxiousness, um, zone in on that energy of your ancestors, of praying for them so their souls can rest at peace as well. Um, and they will reward you with the guidance, the higher guidance that you need through other family members or through illumination of just being, um, getting the epiphanies, okay, of how to move my beautiful Pisces. The book, the story's not over, okay? <laughs> Fat woman hasn't sung yet. Yeah, the, the, the story is going and going and going, okay? It's not over. Okay, you're going to be coming up upon, even. okay, so some of you, these are waves, okay, obviously you could see these are waves, but look at this energy of um, what's interesting, both of these kind of, they kind of feel the same, you know, like, you know, the horses are going up and moving into the cosmos and going for it, and what it represents is that they've got gained control of the light and the dark within them so they can move forward and progress on this earthly walk. But then we have your energy here, meaning the um, water and energy. So there's gonna be another storm coming, okay? There is another emotional storm or what it could represent to me is that you're fine, you're doing great, you're, everything's running really smoothly and you're not really smoothly, but you know, things are are coming about more, better, more, uh, better than you expected. And um, you meet somebody, Pisces, you meet somebody and they're, they trigger you and they make you quite emotional. As much as you, you, you would like to say, oh, this is a dream come true. This is the person I've been wanting. My heart is open to it. I have control of my emotions. I can handle it. I know where I'm going. Uh, the story is not over. So this could be that somebody from your past is returning to finish up something with you, okay? To finish a cycle here. Finish a cycle here with you. Okay, let's see. This will cause you stress. And your suppressed emotions will bubble up. Yeah. So this is like, you have control. Okay, this is, okay, this is what it is. Right here, you have suppressed emotions with the anchor. Suppressed emotions, it's not safe to feel. But you, you're you healing that, okay? With the help of your ancestors and working on yourself and moving forward, being positioned in the places that you need to be positioned in your life. Betrayal, broken promises. And there is still a mending of... Um, the past betrayals and the broken promises and oh boy does Pisces have a long list of that so there could be this uh energy of like it's a wish come true but you're, you're you're picking up your own energy of betrayal or you are assuming this person's going to betray betray you and it causes so much emotional distress let me put my little lamp on yeah there we go um it causes so much emotional distress so these are, this is for you, Pisces, to contend with. This is for you to deal with. You have to understand this is a wish come true. Um, you have to temper these emotions, okay? You go from being calm, cool, collected. I can handle it. You give it, you know, bring it. Very scorpionic. Bring it. I can do it. I'll consume it. I'll transform it. But then it comes and the loomingness of betrayal I think kind of sparks a whole uh, lineage of this type of energy. 
So this is your own element and being consumed by the emotions is the task at hand for yourself to be happy in this union. Because look at this, there's so much amazing energy with the connection. It's mutual. It's mutual. And there is um, an innocent quality to it, a nostalgic quality, a bright light here, a childlike quality that is very different of what the of what the world represents but it confuses you it confuses you confuses them and coming out with this um connection could be the next step maybe you're trying to figure out how to convince this person like let's go and say we're together or um you know it's been a year now or it's been five months it's been four weeks whatever it is you know let's go out as a couple now let's see why this energy is here the well we definitely have to see the confusion we'll clarify it there it is okay so there's a disappointment there's a delay there's a rebalancing and there's a karmic debt that still hasn't completed maybe on their end maybe on their end let's Yeah, because you're very capable of love. You're being seen as the queen of wands. You're ready to go. You have passion. You have creativity. Uh, but this is hard because, um, oh, they recognize your success. They recognize that you're victorious. Okay, that must be on their end. That must be on their end that they are in a divorce from the, the last. Okay, so they're not really coming out forthright with this connection because they're still healing from the last connection. The last connection wounded them and um they're not ready to say oh well let's be in a relationship so somebody's approaching you approaching coming towards you so um what the what the same situation is is that this person i do feel they're from the past okay i um but this person uh hasn't fully healed They haven't fully healed. So when they come near you, when they come towards you, these uh, emotions that they thought were healed, they get opened up again. And I think this causes them to want to return, to retreat and return. And that might feel like a betrayal to Pisces to return to somebody, maybe for closure, maybe for a last romp a last rendezvous a last rendezvous is what came on i don't really talk like that but you know a last i love the, the word rendezvous thank you spirit <laughs> i love french words that i can say okay um yeah three of cups so they're healing and they're healing from a past connection they're falling in love with you slowly surely this causes confusion they know there's a deep connection here Look at this they know there's a deep connection here that they don't want to run away from or turn their back on it's just really you know their higher self telling them that this is really a good thing this is really a beautiful uh union beautiful union so just understand if this person pulls back everything seems to be going you know Okay, you know what I just heard? That's so weird. I remember I remember this um, John Travolta skit where he's uh, he's sat doing Saturday Night Live. And um, okay, this is really interesting. So what I, okay. So um, he's doing the, the Saturday Night Live and then the song, well, you can't tell by the way I walk, I'm a woman's man, no time to talk. And then he trips though. He's walking like a really cool dude, but he trips. And so I feel, and it's really, it's, you know, it's very comical. It's very funny. <laughs> it's like really, so um, this person walks into love. It feels like they just walk into your life. They walk into love and, and. They didn't expect this they didn't they didn't you know either you or them did not expect this connection to 
really um, wake up their soul so much. Their higher self. This is a um, very spiritual connection. But because I heard John Travolta and, and he was like, you know, he was the epitome of sexy back then. Um, the dancing and the white. I, I see him in that white uh, suit and the black tie. And um, I don't know if it was a black tie. Maybe it was a white tie with a black shirt. I don't know. But I just see him really clearly, you know, walking just like his suave and then he trips and it just so i feel like so you met somebody who was like um their their, their life is just hunky dory everything's going just fine and they meet you and they trip they trip over the beauty over your 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 grace over your love over your capacity to express yourself um and that that's where the disconnect is because maybe this person um there's somebody who who controls their emotions really well um they are they weren't ready for this you know they like like the the connection this is like marriage material like this is like they're looking at they're, they say wow this this is the one this is the one that you don't want to get away so for some of you there's a new person like this okay or some of you are having an old person come back but i really this is like new energy that i'm picking up so this is that was a new person if that's the scenario but it was really um so so this person has a so they, they get a lot of attention they're attractive they feel in control i often i also see that <clears throat> for some of you they invite a lot of female women over to their place like they're rotating like four women you know what i mean like that's they're a player they're a player i feel like this person is a player but they meet you and that's what the trip is like they trip because they're like oh damn these are emotions these are emotions so whatever it is they may even have entertained other people in in the union look at this pisces and that might be very uh stressful you, you know like disheartening I feel for some of you they pulled back and they, they they went back to their old ways too this could be some kind of pattern but um but you know Pisces love is so penetrating it's so soft it's so uh surrendering like you know it just the person who's on the other end can't help but like you know it, it's like look at that puppy dog you know I'm not gonna leave it alone to die you know in the streets look at the kit, kitty cat you know it's like meow it's like so cute like oh I'm so in love now you know that this is the kind of energy I get with, with when they they're with you like their heart just pours out like they're just like oh Pisces you know and um yeah so I really love this energy for you I don't want to even leave it but we are 18 minutes into the into the um, reading I hope you enjoyed that it's really good energy this person is very attractive number one but they're they want you okay so you guys got two cards okay i don't know why but so you got so this person needs to detoxify okay i think they are um hoovering other people's energies also i feel like they have had sex with other people so be careful having sex with them um and so you they i think they need to detoxify if you're the cross watcher but if, if pisces is always good to detoxify because that's your polarity it's it's virgo and virgo is about detoxifying the body only takes what it needs it consumes what it um what is necessary but it won't it won't overdo it so uh the, a good way to detox is to do that um fasting a water fast for like a few days i don't last longer than 24 hours personally I, like i can't fast longer than that but um that's i think that's the most healthy i don't know I, I saw somebody that's like oh i've been on a fast for 10 water fast for 10 days and i'm just like that seems really unhealthy so uh for you it's about really getting clear removing any fuzziness anything that has to do with um anything that's distracting you <laughs> do you hear that noise <laughs> i'm sorry about that and transformation so this is a very transformational time for you look you have this upside down though 
so you're still in this place of transfer uh, transformation or this could be the other person is in this place of transformation because they haven't detoxed yet they haven't taken out the stuff that needs to be taken out you can't really they're they're quite close like this person seems quite healthy but it could be the way that they think okay they could be an air sign and it could be the way that they think all right or they could be a water sign it could be the way that they um have dealt with emotions or un or repressed or repressed emotions un um aspected emotions that they haven't dealt with okay because look the book is here and the book is the story is not over so if you let go of somebody recently they might be returning i mean it looks like they're going to be returning for for more okay and they might even say well you know, why don't we um get engaged why don't we move in together why they might come back with a proposal of some of uh because there's a broken promise here what's what was it what, what once was a wish come true ends up becoming a broken promise so they need to mend that they feel like they need to mend that because they didn't again here detoxifying is they repressed emotions suppressed emotions they don't feel safe okay they're going to transform that energy wow i love it pisces my little fishies okay so we're going to move on and we're going to go on with what sign what sign are we going to do let's see scorpio scorpio is next yay scorpio all right let's get into it scorpio and let's see what's in store for you my loves Oh, Scorpio, Scorpio, wow. Um, a lot of Plutonian energy. Pluto, the ruler, today is at 24 degrees. And um, Saturn, you're hanging out with Saturn, I believe. You guys are just like the Mafia brothers. <laughs> That's what I call it. Saturn is at 2 degrees in, in its home sign of Capricorn. Yeah, and you're hanging out with the big bro, Cappy, Capricorn. A little bro, I don't know who they, I don't know. But um, Mercury is in Aquarius. So Aquarius is ruled by Uranus, and Uranus is in Taurus, and it's going to go direct on Wednesday, tomorrow. Today, this is Tuesday. Look how many you got. One. Two, three, four. And uh, Chiron is in Aries. And Venus is in Capricorn. Now you, okay, so Pluto, you're hanging out with Capricorn. Okay? The government, you're, you rule taxes, sex, and... <laughs> um secrets <laughs> deep secrets taxes sex and secrets that's what i should say taxes sex and secrets. but uh so capricorn is is now you know with the sun it's with venus and it's home with saturn it's really strong okay so it's a good time for discipline for you it's a good time to really bunker down on the things that you desire the venusian energy and um your ancient ruler mars is in the polarity of taurus <clears throat> you're the polar the pol your polarity is taurus okay I don't know, Scorpio. I don't know about you, but do you ever like really um, get a get a, get a, get get along really well with Tauruses? Like I don't know. I'm finding that I have like an instant connection with Tauruses. It's crazy, and I never really picked up on it before. But now it's like when I I go, oh, I like this person, and then I find out they're Taurus, and it's just like a really. So you might have a lot of Taurus connections right now. I'm just saying. Okay, let's look into your situation wow you start in you're you're in, you're in your own energy you are in your own energy uh this is the death card okay so 
Pluto is not here to play games. It's in Capricorn, okay? It's moving forward. It's it's set it's setting standards and it's not going to be negotiating a, you know, it, either you did the work or you didn't. And Pluto's going to come in and clean up. All right? So he's Pluto is the garbage dump, okay? Pluto is the garbage dump. Pluto is um the garbage dump. But Saturn is the garbage man. And Pluto is with the garbage man working with the garbage dump. So whatever hasn't, so Pluto comes in and since they're so psychic and they know and they, they'll just scan things and they'll be, okay, did you do the work? Nope, you didn't do the work, but we got to take this property now. You know, did you pay up? Are you doing, are you, are you diligent? Are you working hard? Are you going up that mountain? Are you getting there on time? Are you putting in the effort? Are you busting a sweat? I don't see you doing that, says Pluto. I don't see it. So we're going to have to take this away from you because you don't appreciate it and you don't take care of it and you left it out here in the garbage land. So we think it's garbage, says Saturn. We're just going to recycle it. We're going to put it in to the dump and it's going to go in another cycle of 27, 29 years. Saturn. So I don't know how, I don't know why that, that came out like that, but it did. Okay, so Page of Swords. You could be spying on someone or somebody could be looking at you and very attracted to you and um, wanting to get some sexy Pluto, I mean, sexy Scorpio energy. And they're looking from far away. Okay. They're like, well, it's not the time right now because this person, this person's like damn intense. Like, what are you doing here? Like, what do you, why are you knocking on my door? Like, what do you, you want sex today? You kidding? I got so much work to do. You, you know, like there's so much stuff going on. Have you noticed the world's falling apart? You know, like, this is, like, serious energy. Like, like this is intimidating. Like, it's death, right? So, your energy right now is really, like, somber, sober, and direct. Like, you're not effing around anymore. So, somebody's a little bit, you know, not feeling that comfortable coming towards you. And they might want to be, like, you know, jolly Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Um, they want to be like, oh, hi, da, 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 like all jolly and oh, you should laugh a little bit more. Bam, death, laugh, laugh about death. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't know, you know, well, you should know you're the spiritual angel here, you know, divine time. So they're like, they're like, wow, this person, like I need to approach them sideways. <laughs> I need to, you know, so I'm going to check up on them to see how they're doing. I'm going to see how how the energy is um i'm gonna touch the water is it warm enough for me to go in ah yeah 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 okay well scorpio you i think you're keeping your options open okay scorpio is keeping their options open all right scorpio might be on the on the internet checking things out and saying i'm working on myself spiritually I'm connecting to the divine feminine within me and to the and, con, and I'm and what's important to me is to have a tribe to have a, a spiritual tribe that that I can ascend with that I can develop my skill set that I could use uh, my transformational energy in I think for, for betterment you know for spiritual enlightenment this is kind of deep. Wow, man. This is... Okay. Um, hopefully my little card won't go on fire. Yeah, you're getting like uh, beautiful downloads here of the higher realms. And like you, I kind of, you know what I get is that you are very on the pulse of what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Like the, what's coming in strong is when to do things. Like your timing is impeccable is what I pick up, okay? Um, like nobody can fool Scorpio right now. Like you can see through things and if, like even if they try to fool you, like, okay, listen, this is what I get. And I this is, this is weird because this happens to me all the time. Like, um, you know, I, I, I'm not a per se, okay. 
I do believe in Jesus, okay? I do believe he is our Lord and Savior. I love the Virgin Mary, Virgin of Guadalupe, okay? So that's, and I grew up with that, but that's not all I believe in. Like, I have Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion, you know? I believe in Buddha, you know? Um, the, uh, the reason for suffering is attachment and that that to me is very valid like that that's part of my the way i look at life like you know if you get too attached to something and that's what pluto is like telling you do not get so attached to the things of this world because we're going to leave our bodies and we won't even be here to take this stuff okay so what i feel with you though i feel like a lot of my scorpios have been reaching out for spiritual um connection you know and and they have been doing the spiritual work and also i feel like if somebody tries to come and lie to you if somebody tries to tell you some false truths it's like you have higher ups here just guiding you and the and and the information will be like put in front of you like you'll see like like you can see through the lies okay like here he's cutting through the lies and he's getting downloads from the higher ups okay so he and this there's a full like you have a like a connection you have a, like a a a lifeline up to the higher up so so what and this happened this is i'm i'm born with my mercury retrograde so it's this gift that i've had since a kid like i would get the download right like within like 30 minutes of like something would happen and i had lots of like situations in my life like that where i was like oh so and so died oh so and so is going to jail oh so and so so it's like all these things would just like boom it would hit me like right before it happened and then like the adults would come and be like oh like oh and I'd see all the commotion I'd be like I knew it it was weird it was like I knew it so that's that's this energy that I it's it's a, it's, it's the empathic gift I have but it, it it's like a lot of the Scorpios are getting this now like on a collective level where you a catastrophe or some kind of thing or like you know how to evade an accident or something and it's it's like you know your angels here look your angels are are giving you the downloads giving you the information okay so you're able to to um reach the tribes and reach your people to save them to save them yeah that's i don't okay let's just go let's just go with this all right so at night you are managing to collect yourself and to really matter to, to focus on your manifestation and your dream and what you want to do and not get emotional about it um some some you might have people contacting you at night this could be the opposite sex and um you could be discussing like you know a lot of maybe flirtation i don't know for flirtation but like i don't know there's some business act activity going on at night okay or you're working on that project that you want to get off the floor off off um you want to launch that's what i feel like you want to launch something and you're working you're working like night and day is what i pick up you know you're like you're working a lot okay so you you got you got the fish you're you're going for yours okay you got your fish you this is very scorpionic you got the fish in your hands look at that and then the bears in the water um your emotion the mo the water is just at the pause it doesn't fully consume the bear so you're not being consumed by the outside elements it's not really uh affecting you maybe perhaps the way that others it's affecting like you you are very focused you're driven and you've got a goal okay you're going somewhere you're like i'm going somewhere i you see i'm going somewhere no matter what what whatever's happening in the outside world i'm going somewhere i know where my destiny is so you're destined, you're, you're, you're filled with destiny. And this backs it up. You're filled with destiny. Okay, so so a fate. Fate is, is the, okay, so the three fates. Fate, it's fated. What is meant to happen is meant to happen. Wow, that's a powerful reading. Yeah. So you're take you're being if you've done the work and if you haven't been seedy and if you haven't been uh, greedy greedy and seedy you don't have anything to worry about you're 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 calm cool and collected calm cool and collected but if if you if you've been shady this is going to be filled of like you know like a lot of emotion okay let's see here what we have let's go with the 
satisfaction peace of mind yeah so a lot of my pluto collective i mean my scorpio collective here they have um demol demolished maybe old versions of themselves so what what did they get they have peace of mind now this could have been a lot of sagittarian energy okay it could be it could have been a sag in your life that you had to um set right okay that you had to be like oh you want you want to hear the truth like you might have set somebody in their place like you might have like you know scorpio has this gift where they don't have to lift uh, a weapon their weapon is the sword the truth so there could have been a truth that was revealed that has set you free okay that has managed to balance the scales in your life of what you needed to release or you needed to come into consciousness to And it's a sad reality. It, it's something maybe you didn't want to have to face. You didn't want to have to do it. But I think you you have passed the test with flying colors, and it and and there's still this energy of like, um, did I do the right thing, or are the fates going to be pleased with me? And they're not. They're not displeased with you. They're not displeased with you. Um, I think you. And then this is having to collect. You know the trauma. The, the, that you had to go and experience okay because right now because what happened is um this horse is walking on dead bodies okay basically there's been war and this you know death comes in and takes takes the bodies right collects the dead bodies but we have a little boy here so after the death of all of the old self dying to the old self dying to the old ways dying to you know this capricorn necessity of um i had to do it my way pluto's like no we're gonna do it my way buddy we're gonna do it my way. we tried your way now we're coming we're gonna do it our way scorpio comes in pluto comes in and um and it annihilates like annihilates everything like with what with spiritual truths okay like no you can't stop go with that behavior no you can't come into the gates of heaven with with that karma no we're not gonna you know that's that's pluto going you gotta die to yourself so i think this is a sad kind of um growing pain process it's gonna cause you to be emotional and to really collect yourself connect with your higher self and be in a place of peace which is going to take work and these are suppressed emotions that you haven't really contended with i think they're bubbling up definitely they're bubbling up in or they're you know we're at the 24th degree here of pluto and capricorn so we're, we're just six degrees away but you know Pluto's a very long lasting planet here so there's some deep diving of emotions that you that are developed here and it could be through a connection so let's go let's go let's re recap here with when it comes to love okay so we have somebody here that's um very sexually based the Pluto energy um, they could be sending you sexual pics or sexual talk or sexual banter. I'm not sure, you know, like back and forth and stuff. And it could have felt really satisfying, but maybe they kept you waiting for too long and that brought sadness to you and it made you depressed because you're like um, feeling okay no matter what they told you or the, what they said you know there was a third party like you know like you were one of the three okay and and that that caused you to repress your emotions all right and maybe you've been dealing with this scenario like always like being um the third party but because they they were so sexy you were you were perfectly fine with it you're like well i'll just have sex or i'll just mess with them or i just you know like it these days it doesn't matter 
but you you are being guided here by your ancestors the most important thing is to focus on that dream that you have down the line to really make strides and move towards it even though it may seem daunting and far away you are in a very good position right now emotionally to tackle that and it and you know what you want like you know that what this fish represents for you what that makes what makes you happy and you're at a very good position again because you're you're holding your keeping the emotions at, at bay you're acknowledging them they're here you know you're in the water but you're not ignoring them because the bigger picture is what you want okay well how are you going to get it okay and you're going for it you're going for it but it is it's gonna it's gonna be some time between now and the moment that you get that prize and again you have to temper your emotions these are suppressed emotions here that you have regarding three-party situations okay um, some of you may choose to cut off. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. I want to find out now. Let's get into this. Let's find out now. The suppressed emotions. Spirit, tell us about these suppressed emotions. Okay, let's get into the Lenormand. They're telling me. Okay, here we go. Injustice and abuse. Okay, so this is somebody being um, abusive with their with their connection to you, like oh I got Pluto, uh, I got I got Scorpio, you know, tied down, which is the worst thing that you could even ever think about a Scorpio. you know, I mean yeah, Scorpios tend to be very loyal, but ha ha ha, not with cat. Maybe in Capricorn it's really loyal. Maybe they felt so confident they're like, well I got Scorpio tied down, you know, I got I got him sexing me, and they know that you know. So this person. It, this person um, thinks very highly of themselves. Uh, they like attention. They like to be seen. Um, they they could be very jolly and like lighthearted. They don't take things too seriously. Okay, so that's the opposite of you. All right, by the way, that's like opposite of you. You take things seriously. You you know you're the real deal. You come in. You deliver. When you know what you say is you walk your talk. And this person could pretend to be that way. And they have a lot of people that like them. Okay. So you cannot blame this person that they're attractive, okay? You are with somebody who's attractive and gets a lot of attention, all right? And maybe you thought that you could handle this with, your, with suppressed emotions upside down. But I really think that it makes you not feel safe. And that's the worst thing you could do to Scorpio. Do not have a Scorpio not feel safe because they will act out, act out. And they act out sexually, okay? Or they will cut you out. All right. And then you got no Scorpio. All right. So we have the sun. So it's about staying optimistic. Okay. It's about going out, not getting watered down by your emotions, drying out the emotions through the sunlight. Okay. Staying active, optimistic, and positive. Because really, this is a, a past life connection. Okay. The Egyptian card is always to me a past life connection. There is so much sexuality oozing out of this thing. Like you met and there was like, bang, like, you know, <laughs> like, like it was like, ding, 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 ding. It was like, um, the, the, it, it, what the energy I get is like when, when, when they fight, right? Like, uh, again, the, uh, Ram, Rambo or what, what's his name? Sylvester Stallone. And then, and he's, they're both two, two fighters in the corner. Right. And it's like, you know, you just the, the the sexual attraction is just it's not fighting it's it's like when the bell goes off ding it's like sex it's like so much connection magnetic it's like so i feel like um this person came in and caught you by surprise or vice versa okay and so you got this magnetic connection there's so much sexual attraction here and commitment is here there's like wanting to commit down the line down the line this this could lead to commitment down the line but you've got to contain these suppressed emotions either your person is dealing with a third party perhaps they're connected for a long time with somebody else and they are suppressing their emotions about you okay and they have to disconnect from this or they really see you as somebody that they could commit with that they could they're like wow this is the one so take it as it resonates but it'll be different for everybody but you know what i feel that um
Scorpio ain't gonna play. <laughs> you know, if okay, what I definitely feel is that if Scorpio is put in a connection with a third party, Scorpio is not gonna play. Scorpio's gonna be like, no, 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 no. This is sad, but they will cut it off. Scorpio's gonna cut it off, and they will what? Say, and they will see. They will cut it off. Here's here's two cuts. You gotta let that stuff go. They'll say. And if you don't let it go, I'll be sad for a blank. But I'm going to cut you off. And don't worry. I'm very good at suppressing my emotions, Scorpio says. I'm very good at, I, this is going to sound bad, but not ejaculating. You know what I mean? Not giving myself the pleasure. Because I have my goal here. I'm going to go get mine. I have a wish and a destiny. And that wish and destiny is not to be played by you, player. Okay? So somebody's cutting, somebody's being cut off, okay? Somebody's being cut off. Because they're not suppressing the emotion. So I do get a story here where we have a Scorpio that they're gonna cut themselves off from a third party scenario, okay? Um this is a past life where it was very connected very bonded um there was so much there was a huge magnetic attraction and there still is it i don't think there's not going to be uh i think that's going to last but we do have a, a disconnect here we have a dissolution we have a disillusion happening in the uh union and it might cause somebody to suppress their emotions. It might be because they're not letting go of a third party. It might be because a third party gets discovered. Because what what happens to Scorpio is um, you don't have to. They don't. It, it, okay, Scorpio is gonna know because they get the downloads. Okay, they get the downloads. They get the downloads. They can feel it. Okay, Scorpio can just feel it. I. If you're dating a Scorpio, ha. <laughs> The sex is good, everything's good, but you know, um, you, you gotta be real honest with them. You cannot come from a place of falseness. You can't, you just can't, all right? Some Scorpios are not as um, attuned as others, but Pluto is there, and, and I mean, um, Capricorn, Saturn is there, okay? And Saturn is, is the, the god of consequences. Like, he's like the big papa. Like, you know, your parents go out for the weekend, and mom and dad go, to Cancun and you decide to have a party you're like they're so far away but then there was a, a hurricane they couldn't go to Cancun they come back home and they find you partying and uh guess what you're grounded that's Saturn okay consequences you're grounded for doing this um you're gonna clean up every every weekend you're gonna you know uh you know it's just like there's a price to pay for bad behavior and Pluto is with Capricorn so Whoever's messing with Scorpio and they're dealing and, and they're exhibiting bad behavior to Scorpio, there's a price to pay, baby. There's a price to pay. And I know it sounds incredulous in a way, but I keep I keep wanting to I mean I just Pluto do, does not play because they're you, you you pay for playing, okay? There's a consequence. All right, so let's see. So there is no competition, okay? They see you as their end-all, be-all. They absolutely are enthralled by you, Scorpio. But Scorpio, you've been hurt a lot, and you can see through the darkness. You can see through the veil. And it's very unfulfilling for you at this time. You're insecure. It really um, upsets it really jars your ability to, to contain yourself in, in the in invested happiness. Um, there's loss of tranquility in this connection. There's beauty, but it's incomplete and it makes you feel insecure. Okay, and so there's there is. I'm being told that Scorpio is going to receive some money from an unexpected source. And a financial difficulty, a time of financial difficulty will end, okay? Um, so there's a blessing coming to Scorpio right now, and it's financial. 
It's not in love, okay? It's a financial blessing. And some of you are in a commitment where you're with, uh, you know that there's a third party. You've suppressed that emotion. You're like, well, I can deal with it. You know, the player, the player and the player are together. And the, the, the biggest theme for you guys is the desire to get what was lost. And what was lost is something financial, okay? Because Scorpio represents your finances. So your finances could have been on halt. Um, you could be having a heck of a hard time. You, you've had to re rely on others to help you, to assist you, to borrow money, um, taking from Peter to pay Paul. I feel a lot of this energy and you don't need this drama but you know what you you went ahead and, and you were with this person but you know I think you're gonna your emotions are gonna settle you're gonna get to a place of equilibrium and balance and um, let's get your card no you know what let me pull let's get some more of the Lenormand but let's do another deck I have the uh, gypsy gypsy Lenormand these are okay give me give me more info on what's going to happen with the connection with scorpio let me fix that these are pretty much all upright i don't need i don't feel a need to make these go um reversed okay so okay all right so there's a, a time of confusion right now for scorpio or for the person who's dating you or attracted to you they want to come towards you I give you a message okay um, they want to give you like a sweet message so there's so I think this person needs to grow between now and and the next reading that we're gonna do the elemental readings um, next week and so I feel like there's confusion they're, they're moving towards you and you feel a lot of love for them but you know you're not really invested you're and you're ready and they want to send you sweet messages because they know like you're ready to cut this shit out like you're ready <laughs> because you are in for it for real okay and you know that this is a higher um destined destined uh let's use the psyche cards destined union so I feel like with Pluto energy, it's slow and steady. Yeah, a new emotion is birthing. I feel like your person is not in the in the place of um, the spiritual realm where Scorpio is so much. I feel like they're getting there. I think divine timing is going to take them there. They're, they, uh, I feel, okay, there's another uh, energy coming in where some of you did already split up with this person. And they may come in with a real good offer of commitment, okay? Because this this represents that for me, like commitment right there, okay? Can you see it? Okay, so they could be coming in for that out of this time of confusion because look at these cards here. They're sitting there, they don't know, they're confused. They're, they gotta get out, they gotta settle their emotions, okay? They gotta settle the past, the past. This is the past, all the exes, all the karmics, all the parents, all the um, nastiness, they're confused, okay? They're confused about all the stuff that's happened to them. Scorpio's not doing this, but it's them. It's them being within their own realm. So a new energy, divine timing is going to bring in a new energy, and it's going to take time. So it's not at this season right now. It could be for some of you, but not right now. So this is going to occur, okay? So uh, some of you have already cut this person off, and they may, they may come with an offer. They want to come back with an offer, okay? Or some of you want to cut this person off, and this uh, person might come with an offer, a sweet message, a sweet, like, uh, like insinuating commitment, but not, com that's what it is, insinuating commitment, but not truly committing. Let's get one more. Spirit, give me one more for the past life. Liberation. So this person is so karmically tied to their past, okay? Um, they're living out of an agenda that is old, and worn out and they have to liberate themselves it could be a lot of sexual energy remember i told you on their behalf that they need to um escape from you see look at the fortress okay somebody here has a lot uh, a sexual hold on them sexual ties on them and i just noticed this door And you know what? It's interesting. You have the writer. Where's the writer? Where was the writer? Here we go. We have two writers. That's a 12. 
that's a 38 which is an 11 so they know okay so 38 is 11 energy um, twin flame energy so they know they have to leave something to come to you and they're both going the right direction they're leaving a sexual sexual somebody has like a um, sexual addictions or something like that or uh, sexual I don't know there they have some issues with that they got to clear it out Wow that was really fun let's do a herbal healing card from my beautiful Scorpios and that this full moon this new moon in Capricorn and Pluto is in Capricorn is really about your energy so this is a very timely reading and um, let's see what we have conservation yeah I do I feel this energy of Scorpio pulling everything in and conserving themselves okay they uh you might you might be liberating yourself from a sexual addiction right now you're, you're you so you might be like running for the hills like oh no you know um this person wants so much sex they're very sexual they're oozing sex and stuff and you're on a spiritual path okay and you're trying to communicate more on a let's be friends you know let's understand each other let's go out on a date and have a good celebration but this person has suppressed emotions so instead of that they take it as a rejection and they go off to somebody else okay and they give out their sexual juices and energy and um and compromise you they compromise you putting you in a third party and you're like i'm just trying to be faithful here to my dream to what i see to something that's going to last a long time I know what I want. I know my worth. So you might have had to cut this energy or you're being prompted to cut this energy, right? Because you're conserving yourself, okay? When you're on a ship that's, look at this. When you're on a ship that's going down, you got to take things off. You got to take things out of the ship. And that's the energy I get with you. Like removing things that are, are keeping you stuck, stagnant and liberate you have to have you want liberation you got detox okay so yep you, you there's something about sexual ways that need to go okay something about spiritual spiritualness okay higher up believing divine timing okay so maybe some of you haven't met yet in divine timing this union will come together okay once this person real uh starts dealing with what their suppressed emotions in time they got to detoxify okay that's scorpio i hope you enjoyed that give it a thumbs up or comment down below um these messages did not come any easily but um i i appreciate you know i always love hearing saturday night live so i appreciate when that energy comes in because those to me that was a good time in my life i was a little girl though um okay so let us move into the next energy of cancer yay my beautiful cancer energy we're going to find out what the romance dealio is with you just give me a second here we gotta collect ourselves okay ah. all right sorry about that i'm using the same decks because I don't have enough room for all these decks on my table. Okay, Cancer, let's move into let let's move into your energy. That was heavy, and Scorpio energy is really heavy. So let me just get some Palo Santo here, and um, we clear the energy. I I use the candle wax and I put it on on this little. Look how cute. On this little um, piece of I don't know what that is it's like a paperweight but it's really beautiful because it's been around it's been around the family for a while actually my dad must have gotten that ages ago or it could have been my stepdad I'm not sure he likes he has good taste too okay um actually my stepdad has better taste than my real dad <laughs> okay so let's Let's call in the angels. Let's see what's going down for the Cancer Collective. My little fishies, my little crabs. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Three cards. 
Let's get to the 411. Let's get to the info, Spirit. Thank you for giving us the messages for my Cancer Collective for the week of the new moon. And the moon, man, you guys, it's been in your polarity of cancer so today i'm doing this reading the moon is in capricorn and um, i love when the moon is in capricorn i'm super motivated i'm super focused i'm like loving the moon in capricorn we got temperance on the bottom so divine timing is at hand yeah i'm loving the moon in capricorn it just it's there's so much productivity that you can get done and uh focus direction productivity yeah did i say that okay so let's see for my cancer what is this message is coming in wow we got four i'll take it and we'll use the gypsy ones for you guys All right, so I hope everyone's doing well and I hope um, your families are doing well and that you're dealing with emotional, your emotions right now in a good way and they are helping you direct your life. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> the Emperor. Yeah, so Cancer is in control. Um, you're looking, you've been, yeah, you've been taking care of the home. You've been holding it down. Uh, I feel like you have like a home business. You know, I do feel like, you know, you are the boss here or, you know, you're really looking at somebody who it has emperor energy and they could be coming in from your past or you could be getting back together with the father of your children. You also could be dealing with issues of your father. Or a masculine who is, um, I kind of feel like this masculine is falling into depression. Or they're looking at the past very nostalgically. And I think they look at you very, like they look at you with a lot of beauty, with a lot of care, with a lot of concern. Could have been a connection that had its good moments, but then some, an obstacle came uh, that was insurmountable. That you couldn't... Um, get past and it looks like it was on behalf of this masculine like it looks like it was their issue not yours but they tried to make it yours and it could have been you know the father of your child and, and it brought separation so it could be like I feel like they're bringing closure to this connection or they're bringing um, their sincerity or they are uh, in a or, or you have a masculine that wants to give to you wants to help your family okay so i do get another message where we have a masculine that wants to help you out wants to um make sure that your position that you and your family are positioned in a right place in the right location for your life for your children they, they're also looking after your kids they want to make sure that they have security and all of that there's a beautiful energy coming through uh okay so this is destined and you have uh you have your your job is to Take a look at this from a different perspective, from a higher consciousness. Uh, do not, do not lose faith is what I pick up. So it just, it's like you could, you could feel like a very emotional, but this was destined. This person was meant to help you. It, 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 it helped. It helps their karma to help you. Okay, so accept any offers of assistance. I mean, not any. I mean, if it is a strange dude, don't be doing that. So the four of swords. So you're in a place of of healing. And I feel like you're completely healing because she's not sitting. She's standing. So she's ready to, to um, she's ready for battle. Okay. And she's like, don't mess with me. I have my sword and I will take you down. If I don't take you down with my first sword, I'll take you down with my, my other sword. So your words are super powerful right now. And you can um, really negotiate and, you know, you're a cardinal sign. So it looks like you are a very good communicator. Um, you're coming, you're going to be coming out of your shell is what I feel like. You're going to be coming out. Like, I feel like you're going to be coming out. Yeah, it's interesting. You've been in hermit mode a little bit. You've been isolated yourself. You've been, 
um, working maybe on a creative project. Uh, and like I, I also feel that you're dealing with maybe an older masculine man, like you're taking care of your papa, your dad, uncle, brother, something like that. Okay, and then, um, yeah, it looks like you're going into contract with this person, okay? It looks like you're making a deal, like, like maybe they're renting their place to you like okay you know what i got the second house you can have the you can have the townhouse or whatever like they're they're setting you up on something that you're like okay well cool i'll pay the rent da, 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 da. like you know like you're getting help yeah luck is on your side baby girl yes you're very lucky right now this is very slow moving but this person loves and cares about you and they want to make sure or the universe loves and cares about you wants to make sure that you're taken care of that your children are taken care of because that is a major thing from cancer so your home your home front your children you might be moving this is a cycle that's ending um a bad cycle okay uh that that, that was difficult that you have a protector energy around you you have a protector energy around you, okay? Whether this is spirit form or a, a masculine that has passed on the other side has is also looking after you and protecting you and your family. That nobody comes in and harms you, hurts you, or steals from you. Sweet mother of God. It, <clears throat> abundance is coming to you very soon okay um it's gonna make your heart very happy and you're spiritually protected here uh you're being guided by spirit another you 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 might move you might move you might move from where you're currently at okay that might be a little discontenting and uncomfortable but um i think it's for your betterment okay it's it's for a better environment all right you have two cards of luck on your side so you have so much spiritual connection here so much spiritual guides that are um okay so the energy i get is of um of the pharaoh of moses when he was a baby and when he was put in a basket okay his mom had so much faith um that 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 the that Moses would be taken care of. He ended up becoming the Pharaoh. So I feel like you are definitely destined for something. And luck is the stars are lining up. Like it's like it's like it was meant to come. It was the, you, you, the, it's like a time capsule energy that I pick up. It's like okay, it's time. Let's let you know. Let's let that go. Let or let's let that happen. And so it's gonna it's gonna be. You're gonna be very lucky. Okay, you're gonna luck is gonna be on your side, Cancer. It's gonna come in quickly and suddenly. It's gonna come unexpectedly. Um, you might have to shatter your old self, okay? Like you, you, you might be very comfortable in who you are, where you are, what you're doing, but you, to balance yourself, you have to walk away from something that no longer serves you. You have to uh, enter into a new dimension, a new, uh, life. You know, you have to die unto yourself. There is a skeleton in that mirror. Okay. So there are things that don't serve you anymore. This could be an old love, could be an old Scorpio person, could be, um, somebody dies suddenly and leaves you money perhaps that's the fortune they leave you something they leave you you become lucky from that death it's, some, it's something that that's a morbid way of putting it but hey um so you're gonna have to make a choice so you have to make the right choices right now spirits you definitely got spiritual eyes on you cancer okay and if you're not coming from a higher realm of christianity and godlike energy um you might be in for another round of just healing like missing out missing the boat but you also have like a masculine energy here like looking after you protecting you wanting to help you and you have luck on your side twice this is going to happen this is going to happen suddenly so i'm not picking up so much like love love per se i'm picking up spiritual help with you i'm picking up spiritual intervention with you i'm picking up um a masculine spiritual energy that's looking out for you that that they're positioning people in places that are going to give you a good deal a good 
um, you know, he, there's a home here. So you, you might be fortunate to move to a, a better home, okay? Make a negotiation like that. It's slow moving energy. This person might be older, okay? Um, they be, they're very, they're very logical, very practical, very grounded. They could be an earth sign. I don't know, but they're very balanced. Okay. And they're looking out for you. Spirit is look. I mean, I can't even spirit is looking out for you. Okay. So this could be somebody that you meet once all this happens. Pisces, Pisces energy is here. Um, but I don't, I don't pick up that that's necessarily the sign. This guy looks a little bit Leonian. He looks Leo to me, so it might be Leo. Um, okay, so let's look at what, what uh, we need to look at. Let's look at this tower energy. Well, we should look at both of this, okay? Luck's going to come in suddenly, quickly, fast. It's going to cause you to leave things of the past behind. And maybe things that, that that you've been in a bad situation. So it's not necessarily even a death might come. It might be that you just have to act fast when um, opportunity knocks. You have to move into it and not and not try to bring things from your past. Like, well, I can't take. Can I take this? Can I take? No, it's just like sudden. Okay, it's like no. Act now. Act now. That's the energy that I get. Okay, it's about acting now with the um, tower card there. So some of you are not moving on and you're stuck and you don't know, you know, maybe, or just, okay, there's two energies. Some of you are not moving on. You feel stuck. And then the sudden energy comes where you have to move quickly. You have to make that decision. Do you want it? You know, it's like this energy, like, oh, there's a great house for rent. It's like three bedrooms, two baths. It's got a backyard and, um, they want to rent, they'll rent it to you. I just talked to them. They'll rent it to you because I know them and they'll do me the favor for a thousand bucks. Do you want it now? It's like, you got to decide, boom, like right then and there. Okay. And it's like, well, you know, I don't know because I have a lease and I'm going to break that. We'll break that damn lease, honey. You know, it's like that kind of energy. So it's like something really lucky, really fortunate. But there's two energies, okay, of, of stuck. You're, you're like not wanting to move. You're not wanting to make this move. You're very comfortable. So be careful. This this energy might come and go. And then you're like, well, I'll do it next month. Or uh, da, da, da. no, they're telling you that when this opportunity comes, strike when the lightning strikes. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. And you need to decide, right? You need to decide right then and there, okay? Um, a generous ability to receive. Yeah, there you go. Spirit is helping cancer out and you there's a gen there's the generosity here and you have to work on receiving you have to work on being okay with receiving being humble you know this is this is piscean energy unconditional love so they love to give they love to give and unconditional love they love to give they love they can see things pisces can see things you know coming about like around the corner and so you're, you might be stuck contemplating, what do I do now? How am I going to get there? What, how am I going to find somebody in this neighborhood? Oh my God, my kids, um, my mom, my dad, like you're worried. There's this, this anxiety. You don't, you're stuck. You're not making this decision. You're healing maybe from something else, maybe other traumas, other people dying around you, sickness. Um, and, and you're not really thinking in your best, uh, form. Okay. But luck comes in strikes quickly could be this person it could be that's how you meet this person later down the line because it's destined for you to meet this person um but i don't feel like they're in the picture yet okay i really don't i just feel like you're supposed to be working on yourself working on your family working on healing and making these decisions because luck is coming there's going to be a lucky break lucky break for you and you're gonna have to make that choice and decide quickly okay your 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 side is the most different sign of uh, like i'm doing you know, what is this potential partner and what the, their true intentions you got you don't need a partner cancer you got spirit helping you out. <laughs> there's Hollywood gave out a message of loyalty a message of loyalty so um cancer might be just hunky dory just fine with their dog man they're like you know it's just me and my me and my shadow 
is what I pick up. Like you've been isolated yourself. You you got you have gone way hermit mode into cancer crab mode, and it's like you know, um, you're staying. Maybe you've been staying loyal to something for way too long. A message. A message. I don't know. That's like. Let me shuffle these. Okay, sir. Oh, it does not go away, does it? Okay. What's this message, Spirit? Somebody's returning. Okay. This is somebody from your past that wants to help you. Okay. They're loyal to you. Like I said, this is somebody that wants to help you. I, I don't really think of it as a sexual thing. I think this is more of a, a person, a destined thing. Okay. I do feel like um, you're going to be busy with that energy. And, and something's coming in, you know, um, and strike when the iron is hot is the energy I get for you. Okay, so let us get, I can't believe I went so long on your guys' water readings. You know, us water signs. We're like air signs. We could talk, 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 talk. All right, my love. So you have the oak tree. So you're going to be rooted. Um, you're, you're very grounded and rooted. Uh, they, the, the good Lord and the energies luck is on your side and they want to position you where you can develop from a very grounded secure rooted place but this is going to be happening suddenly okay and this is destined for you to go there so step onto this new destiny that you have accept masculine help or spiritual masculine help here to help you um, could be one of your exes they're looking after you they can't forget how beautiful your love is um, and how beautiful you are a person inside and out and so they want to exhibit this by showing you and giving you something. And we don't know exactly what it is, but it's a great opportunity, okay? A message that somebody is loyal to cancer and their family and their well-being, okay? So I leave you with this strength. So add luck and strength. And sudden epiphanies and sudden connections here. This could be a soulmate, though. Could be somebody that you really resonate with on a soulmate level. They might offer this opportunity, a contract to move in with them. That's another thing. Like, come bring your family with me. That's another message I'm getting. Okay, so, and this person is abundant. They have they have to give. They have it to give. They're a leader, okay? Um, and they're a giver. And they're looking at the past. This could be a childhood friend as well, okay? A childhood family member as well. A beautiful, beautiful energy, um, Cancer. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope uh, you've liked this series here of the Earth Elements. And give it a thumbs up, a comment, and much love and light to you. I wish you the best and good fortune in this new year of 2021 where shifts are, are happening abruptly quickly for the betterment of the collective on ascended stars thank you take care